Hi YouTube and welcome to my channel. My name is Patrick. Today we're going to talk about Windows 7, or more specifically, why you shouldn't be using Windows 7 in 2024. So I'm going to give you a live example here of hacking a Windows 7 box, just to express to you how easy this really is. So on my screen here, you can see we have this Windows 7 virtual machine. And in this terminal window here, we are connected to my Kali Linux server. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the Eternal Blue SMB exploit to own the Windows box. So it's very simple. I have it all set up. You just have to type exploit and give it just a moment. There we go, and as you can see, we now have that exploit executing. And the thing about this is that this is a fully up-to-date Windows 7 computer. It has the firewall enabled, it has all the default settings, and as you can see here in our terminal, we now have a reverse shell that allows us to control the Windows 7 box. So we can run ipconfig, and there's the IP address information of that Windows 7 box. So, and as you can see on our Windows 7 box here, nothing's different. You can't tell that anything is going on. You know, we can open Task Manager here, and you'll see that there are no sketchy tasks running in the background. All right, so that's an example of how you can hack Windows 7 in just a few seconds. Uh, now, I do acknowledge that this particular attack relies on the attacker being on the same network as your Windows 7 box, but not all the exploits for Windows 7 are like that. Let's take a look at this web page here. Uh, this is a list of Windows 7 vulnerabilities uh, from 2023, and you can see in one year alone there's 56 of them, and a lot of these are zero-click remote code execution vulnerabilities. Now what that means is that the attacker would only need you to do something like go to a web page with a malicious ad, and from there they would be able to exploit your Windows box and get remote control of it just like I showed you here. And, you know, here's 56 big vulnerabilities for Windows 7 in just last year alone. The thing is, these vulnerabilities are not getting patched. Windows 7 is not getting updates to address these vulnerabilities. And yes, you can pay Microsoft some money and get access to an to a ongoing support contract where they'll continue to patch things. But even with that, you're not going to get patches for every single exploit that comes out. You know, there's going to be some that don't get addressed by that Microsoft patching that you can pay for. And if, if you're using Windows 7 in 2024, please stop. I get it. I like Windows 7. I really do. I think it was the last good version of Windows. But, unfortunately, it's just not safe to use. If you are using Windows 7, it doesn't matter how safe you are, it doesn't matter how careful you are, uh, it's going to get exploited. And a lot of people say, like, oh, just use an ad blocker, be smart about the websites you visit, use an antivirus in an up-to-date browser. Yes, if you do those four things, you're going to be safer than most people on Windows 7, but I can guarantee you that those protections you put in place are not going to fix the integral, deep flaws that have come to light from Windows 7. I hope this video was informative and entertaining. If you want to see more hacking videos like this, then leave a like below and hit the subscribe button to see more. I hope you enjoyed this video, and my name is Patrick. I'll catch you in the next one.